welcome back. Okay, so it's time for me to open up my October Boxy Charm box. Now, first thing I notice is this box is a little bit smaller than the usual regular monthly Boxy Charm box. So, um, I'm not anticipating anything super large in here because <laughs> it's a little small, okay? So let's just jump right in. As you can see, my face is bare because I am going to do a try on for this month's box. Now, let me pull out the brochure here. It says, flip over for a bigger boxy charm. Okay, so it has some information on here talking about the new upcoming boxy charm um where you can get boxy charm premium for $35 starting in November. Now, I did sign up for that, so if you're curious, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I will be checking it out next month. But I did sign up for that. You're supposed to get a box worth over $175 for a $35 charge for BoxyCharm Premium. So just some information on that. Now for this month's box, I have variation eight. So let's just jump in and see what I got so that I can get started on my face. The theme for this month is After Dark. Okay, so the first thing that I have listed here is a Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. Okay. Now, the one that I got is Blushing Berries, okay? Now, I've been wanting one of these for the longest. Never picked one up, never tried one out. I was going to get one, I think, last year when they had them on sale, like for the holidays or something like that, but I never did. So I'm really glad that I have one that I can try out. So this one is really pretty. Okay, and so this is what this eyeshadow palette looks like. Very, very pretty, burgundy shades, nice deep black in there, nice lighter shade for highlighting and brow bone. Very pretty, perfect for fall. Let me go ahead and see what it says about this palette. It says here, five pan matte eyeshadow palette with a mixture of shades. This palette is a great way to add boldness and vibrance to your eye look. So this palette also comes with a little double-ended brush. So very small little fluffy brush and then a little pointed type brush as well. So very cute. And this retails for $32. Okay, so next I have Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. Oh, very pretty. So this is what the packaging looks like. Sorry about the glare. It's very shiny writing on there. It says Touch and Soul on the top. And then this is what the actual packaging looks like. Really pretty light pink. And it says glassy. Oh, it smells very nice. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of um, thick and creamy. Very thick and creamy. Okay, so it says Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. An ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. So I'll try this out today as well. Next, I have this iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss. So it's a really pretty gloss. Very, very cute. And it says your iconic lip plumping gloss are the ultimate combos of non-sticky gloss and plumping power. The high shine formula is infused with a biomimetic peptide, which helps to support natural collagen production for more defined and voluminous looking lips. Okay, <laughs> so this retails for $26. And I don't remember if I said, but the Glassy Skin Balm retails for $32. Next, I have here some cleansing spa water cloths. <laughs> so a packet of these. How many is in here? 10 cloths. So it says here, Cogen Do Cleansing Spa Water Cloths. These convenient cotton cleansing spa water cloths remove waterproof makeup and impurities while nourishing skin with mineral rich cleansing spa water. Okay, so you get 10 of these in this cute little pack. And lastly, I have what looks like a really pretty blue eyeliner. And this is from Luna by Luna. It says these highly pigmented and easy glide pencil eyeliners 
are perfect to create a full lash line or a playful colored look that lasts all day. Luna Eye Pencils are available in two gorgeous shades, baby blue or charcoal black. 24 hour wear ensures that after just one application, your look will stay set all day. Now this color here that I got, it looks like it says Pegasus and that retails for $16. So these cleansing water cloths retail for $17, just in case I didn't say, and this blue eyeliner pencil retails for $16. Yeah, $16. <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead and jump right in trying out these products. Now, I wanna start off with one of these cleansing spa water cloths, even though I don't have makeup on. I just wanna use one on my bare face and see how it feels. Okay, so they are nice and thick. Very thick, very sturdy. Smells nice too. Nothing strong. Try not to wipe off my eyebrows that I just put on. <laughs> yeah, well they feel really, really nice. They're very, very sturdy and strong. Wiped off some of my concealer <laughs> from around my eyebrows, but it's all good. Would I pay $17 for 10 of them? No, <laughs> but they are very nice. Okay, so next I wanna try out this Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm and see how this feels. It smells very nice, very nice, soft, gentle scent to it. Okay, well I definitely feel like it's leaving my skin looking glassy. <laughs> <laughs> or, or shiny, I guess. It doesn't feel greasy. It's an interesting texture to it. It's not greasy and it's not sticky, but I can definitely feel it. Um, only time will tell, I guess, if I like this on my skin, but I think it does look nice. It does kind of give you a nice, refreshing, healthy glow. Yeah, it says it's ultra hydrating priming skin balm. Smooth texture and melts into your skin to create an ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. So yeah, I think this would be really nice like on a no makeup day and you wanna just look really nice and glowy. It looks very nice, so, but I'm putting on makeup today, so <laughs> I'll see how I like it or how it affects my foundation. So since it says that that is a priming skin balm, I'm not going to put additional primer on my face before my foundation. I'm just gonna go in with some of my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation, and I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, and finish up the rest of my face and we'll come back and jump into this eyeshadow palette. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead, finished up my base. Um, just in case you're curious, in addition to my NYX foundation and my Revolution concealer, I did go in with some of my Becca Hydra Mist and Set powder under my eyes. I set the rest of my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth powder set the rest of my face with that. For blush and highlight, I used my Colored Rain and Power Collab Duo for my blush and highlight. This palette is bomb, you guys. And for bronzing, I used my Hoola Toasted Bronzer. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this Blushing Berries palette from Dose of Colors. Very pretty, simple, basic, five shades, so this shouldn't be too difficult. I am going to start out with this light shade here and just place a little bit of that on my brow bone. So it's not super light. It has a little bit of that pink hue to it. Very pretty color. Very pretty, I like that. Okay, next I'm gonna go into this gorgeous burgundy shade here in the middle, very pretty. And I'm just gonna take and buff this all throughout my crease area.
Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. These shadows are really nice and creamy, easy to blend out, and very, very pigmented. It kind of reminds me of the Colored Rain Power palette shadows. Those shadows are just so easy to work with. And that's how this kind of feels like. It's just really easy to blend out. And you guys, I didn't put any primer down or anything on my lids. I just kind of jumped right in. Now I just wanna tap into this shade here, which is in between that burgundy and that light shade that I use, just to kinda of add a little bit of a better transition in between those two shades. Okay, now I'm gonna take a smaller, dense brush, go back into that cranberry or burgundy shade in the middle and just drag it down on my lower lash line as well. Went a little bit ham in my outer corner. <laughs> Went a little bit crazy over there. Now to tone these outer corners down a little bit, cause I did go a little bit ham, I'm just going into some of my uh, Micro Smooth Powder, which is, you know, my complexion shade and just buffing out that outer corner a little bit. If you ever just kind of go a little too crazy, you can use concealer to clean up that area or, you know, just use some of your regular face powder to just kind of tone it down a little bit. Okay, I honestly feel like this look is smoky enough and since it's the middle of the day, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into the black just because I don't want to make it too smoky right now. I'm not in the mood for that. So let me just do some quick swatches. I didn't even swatch it for you guys. But let me just do some quick swatches so you can see how it swatches. These shadows feel really, really nice and they're very pretty. Whoa. Whoa. So as you can see, very, very pigmented. So you can definitely do a beautiful smoky eye with that black, but I don't want to smoke it out today. <laughs> I actually want to add a little bit of Razzle Dazzle. I want to play around with this Profusion Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow, and this one is in the shade Gilded. It's kind of like a glittery green color. So I just want to put a little bit of that on my lid. I'm gonna let it dry so hopefully it doesn't transfer too much. Okay, so I changed my mind. Since I went a little bit ham with the metallic liquid eyeshadow, I do wanna go in with some of that black. I may as well go dramatic now. <laughs> so I'm going to just take a little bit of the black in here and smoke out the outer part of my lid. completely out of hand. Let's make it even more wild by trying out this blue eyeliner on my lower lash line. Is that blue or black? Oh wow, that's black. I assumed it was blue because the packaging is blue, but the liner is actually black. Now I'm really happy. <laughs> So it actually matches this look. Not bad. And it's nice and uh, pigmented, very smooth going on. Very nice. Okay, you guys, and lastly, I have this iconic London lip gloss. So I am going to line my lips first though. So my regulars know my favorite lip liner is my ColourPop and Ellery Lippy Pencil. which is the perfect cranberry shade. Goes perfect with this eye look. So let's check out this lip gloss. So this is what the wand looks like. Your basic little small flat doe foot type. 
Okay. Kind of smells like licorice. Black licorice. So it's definitely a lip gloss you can wear by itself. It's a really, really pretty light pink shade. But of course, with my lip liner, I'm changing the color of it, but I like to do my glosses like this. So I like it. It's not sticky. It's very comfortable. I could feel a tiny, tiny bit of tingling, which I'm assuming is the plumping aspect of this gloss. Doesn't bother me at all. It reminds me a lot of the e.l.f lip plumping glosses so I like it very very nice very comfortable and I think it looks really pretty so okay you guys so I went ahead added some black liquid liner to this look and I went in with some mascara as well just to complete these eyes so this is the final look for these eyes today yes they did get a little out of hand but I'm not mad at it okay I'm really not that mad <laughs> so that's it for my October Boxy Charm try on. Um, I'm pretty pleased. I really am. I'm not disappointed this month. I mean, I know the box went up to like 25 bucks, I think. Did have a little bit of a price increase, but I'm not I'm not upset because we still get a lot of really good products that are definitely worth way more than the box. So I'm happy. So that's it, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me try on these items. I hope you hit like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about these products. Let me know what you got in your box because I got a few surprises of things that I did not know that I was going to get this month. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!